Let's move on now. Four space enthusiasts are about to launch into the Earth's orbit in another landmark mission for space tourism. This is for the first time in more than six decades of human space flight that a rocket will launch into the Earth's orbit with no professional astronauts on board, but with only four space tourists. The entire three-day around-the-world trip will be led by a 38-year-old American entrepreneur, Jared Isaacman. The trip has been entirely sponsored by him, who will bring in three other crewmates with him in this once-in-a-lifetime trip. Isaacman will be accompanied by a geoscientist known as Shine Proctor, the medical officer and a cancer survivor, Haley Arkasanow and the U.S. Air Force veteran Chris Sembronski. The mission has been named Inspiration4 and it was conceived by Isaacman mainly to inspire others and also to raise money for children's cancer treatment. Recognizes that there are a lot of things um, that some of which are. You said it right from the start, right from the day one of Inspiration4, you know, that we aim to inspire people as to what's possible in space, sure, but also what can be accomplished here on Earth. It's why, you know, St. Jude, you know, Children's Research Hospital is such an important part of our mission. Uh, it's why we went about selecting crew members in the way that we did so that, you know, we're joined by Chris and Haley and, and Dr. Proctor, who all have very inspiring stories in their own right, all to a unique audience, right? There are so many elements about our, our story that I think make a difference. I think there's a lot of points to our mission. And a big one is to inspire people to push boundaries. And we're pushing boundaries in a lot of different ways. Um, the $200 million fundraising effort for St. Jude is the largest fundraising effort um, that St. Jude has ever seen. And that money is going to go to cancer research and to helping kids and, um, and to fund treatment. Now, this happens to be SpaceX's first private flight. The astronauts will ride along in a fully automated Dragon capsule, the same kind that SpaceX uses to send astronauts to and from the International Space Station from NASA. Set to launch later today from the Kennedy Space Center, the spacecraft will reach an altitude of 575 kilometers, some 150 kilometers higher than the International Space Station. Rival companies Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin both recently celebrated their debut in space. Their tourism missions with their founding executives went on. Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson each going along for the ride, of course, and both the missions were suborbital in scale, with the rides ending within a few minutes. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.